What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be reviewing one of my favorite things in the whole world, aside from makeup, which is skincare. I think I've mentioned this before in my channel. Um, and today we're gonna to be focusing on um, masks. So I'm going to talk about, about the different um, types of masks as far as the application. Um, and then I'm going to go down the list and I actually have some notes here. So you'll see me looking down a couple times um, because I don't trust my memory. Um, it's just what it is. Uh, when you get to be my age, um, you just cannot rely on um, what you think you're gonna remember. Um, so then, yes, I'm gonna go down the list of um, the different uh, skin care um, you know targets like what are what are these different masks target and I have a collection here in front of me of all the masks that I own and um, you know some of these I've been using for um, like the glam glow I've been using for like two years um, some of these are newer to my collection but um, you know I'm very familiar with them so I can um, at the end you know give you my my personal opinion on each one of these so without further ado let's just get started to begin we're gonna go over and um, again I'm gonna be looking at my notes the different types of masks as far as how they are applied so we have the peel off or lift off we have the wash off um, which is you know you apply it and then you wait 15 20 minutes however you know each each one has their own indication of how long you should leave it on but I, I'll cover that as I go along um, so peel off wash off sheet masks sleeping masks and bubble masks um, and so I have one of actually a couple of every one of these specific types of masks and so um, let's just get started um, the first thing one uh, skincare target uh, is a collagen boost and there's a ton in the market just for all of these things that I'm going to be discussing you're going to find you know a, a ton of um, you know different brands and and different price ranges um, the only ones that I can speak on are the ones that I have in my collection and so um, you know I'll touch on those as I go along as well as uh, reading the claims to you as well as pricing so for collagen boost um, the one I have here is pixie plump collagen boost sheet mask now the claims on this are actually let me start with price these are um, ten dollars for a pack of three and uh, pixie you can only buy at Target um, this one says apply to clean flip apply to clean face <laughs> leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and then um, once you remove it massage you do not rinse off and this is the most important thing about sheet masks once you're done with the 15 minutes or for however long uh, you're supposed to leave it on you peel it off throw it out but then you massage the rest of the product um, onto your face and down your neck and down your decollete um, and then you move on to your regular skincare you know serums moisturizer sorry my hair's in my mouth oh by the way did you guys notice i colored my hair thank you for noticing yes um i feel like a brand new person now with you know my roots are not screaming anymore um so anyway so the claims for this one um instant soothing and plumping effect collagen and peptides help improve and maintain skin elasticity prompting firmer healthier looking skin um, I'll be honest I just got this one um, like two weeks ago and I tried two of them and so far so good pixie you know some of their products can be a little bit pricey um, like I got a, a sun mist from them which was $18 and the bottle was not even that big and you know I feel like for something that can be purchased at Target um, I don't know I feel like it's a little overpriced but but three sheet masks for ten dollars is not so bad okay then we go on to hydrating masks 
And for that, the ones that I can speak on are the Laneige sleeping mask. I've had this for quite a while and I rotate between the, this one and another one. So I, um, it's lasted me a while. Now this one uh, costs $25. Um, and you know, sleeping masks you apply to a clean, um, toned face. You know, you, you wash and you use your toner. Once your toner is dry, um, then you apply the mask and then you go to sleep. And then this one costs $25. Um, and like I just said, apply the clean, clean face, leave overnight and rinse in the morning. Um, the, I have an honorable mention of, you know, along the lines of Laneige and they have the sleeping mask, which I've mentioned in one of my previous videos and I actually left it upstairs. Um, and then they have a, um, an eye sleeping mask, which I used, um, I don't know. I finished it about two months ago. Uh, it's this eye mask is $34 and the lip sleeping mask is 20. I, I love, absolutely love the uh, lip mask, but the eye mask I was not impressed with and I don't plan on repurchasing it. But um, Laneige makes some amazing products and this you can find at Sephora. Um, and by the way, all of the products that I'm talking about today, um, even though I'm covering prices and, and what their claims are, I will list that information down below so you can refer to it later. Also along the lines of, um, Sorry, along the lines of hydrating, um, I have a sheet mask. It's from Tatcha. It is the Tatcha Luminous uh, Dewy Skin Mask. And um, this is $12. This is pricey. This is um, from Sephora. So it's $12 for one mask, but they also have a pack of four, which is $45. Um, and the instructions on this one, just um, like everything else, you, you apply to clean face, leave it on for 15 minutes, massage remainder product, and do not rinse, just like the other one. And this thing, um, I actually got two of these in my BoxyCharm. This is how I came across these. Um, I feel like $12 for one mask is not something that I'm ready to, um, to commit to. I, although I love Tatcha, I love the... Um, the moisturizer, the um, luminous um, moisturizer that I just uh, started using recently, that purple, yeah, the same color, um, that purple jar. It's just, I mean, they're, they're just pricey, but it's, you know, it's Tatcha. You, you, you get what you pay for it. The, this smells amazing. The, um, it leaves the skin feeling so, so hydrated and plump. And um, it has a lot of serum in it. So, when you're done, you actually end up with a lot on your face that you can really bring it down. There's enough product left, um, you know, to apply to cover the rest. I found that the Pixie one was a little drier. Um, okay, um, then another another mask as far as hydrating. I have uh, two more. Uh, the Elf Hydrating Bubble Mask. Um, again, apply to clean face leave it on uh let me see um i know i put prices on this one sorry guys let me check my notes here okay this is normally uh, the elf bubble mask is normally 14 dollars. i um get my um elf skincare at um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I find that they usually have a good selection of e.l.f. products, skincare specifically, at um, a much lower price. So even though I'm saying $14, that's not what I paid. I probably paid a third of that. But um, on you know Ulta or a local drugstore, it's gonna be about that price. So you, again, apply to clean, damp skin. Um, when bubbles begin to dispense, within five to 10 minutes or so, massage with fingertips and then remove with warm water. And the claims on this is, um, this hydrating and nourishing gel transforms into a bubble mask on the face. Bubbles foam to reduce excess dirt and cleanse pores for glowing, healthy looking skin. And I just used that this morning actually. And um, it's just really, um, 
funny looking when you apply it. It kind of, you know, the bubbles get big and so your face ends up looking all deformed. And anyway, it's not pretty. Just make sure you're, you know, you're kind of alone in the house. Um, or that, you know, if you have small children, uh, you may just scare them a little bit with this one. But it's really good, so affordable. I mean, does it does it provide like intense hydration? No, but at the same time, it it, it does. You know, it, along with all of you know combined skincare, this definitely adds a little something as well. Now, another sleeping mask that I have, which for hydration, is this Lancome. This is a deluxe size. This is Lancome Rose Jelly Mask. The full size goes for $35 um, at Ulta, or, or I usually get my my Lancome products at uh, Macy's. But anyway, uh, apply on clean, dry skin, leave on overnight, just like the others, the, like the Laneige sleeping mask. Uh, the claims on this are an intensely hydrating leave-on gel mask that locks in moisture and visibly plumbs skin overnight. I love this one. I love the smell. Um, you know, anything, rose is supposed to be very hydrating. Um, for me, it's also a, a fact of, I don't know, the, the, the smell of rose just is so, um, something so pleasing about it to me. Um, and I really, really enjoy this one. Then uh, we're gonna go into purifying masks. Um, so the first one that I have for that one, um, as an example of that, is uh, the Wonder Beauty Purifying and Brighten is the Wonder Beauty Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask, and this goes for twenty seven dollars. And I believe you can get this at I know you can get it at at uh, Sephora, but I believe um, CVS sells. I know that they do sell Wonder products. I just don't know if they carry the this mask. Um, but um, this one you apply to clean, dry face, uh, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes um, or for the mask or until the mask um, is dried completely, then peel it off gently. And sometimes some of these peel off masks can be a little painful, um, at least for me, I guess I, my, my skin is somewhat sensitive. And um, you know, sometimes if, I, if I'm in a rush, and, and I try to just, you know, cover like a large area all at once, it, it's more painful. So just, you know, take your time, do it slowly. Um, the, claims on, the claims on this is, um, this Rose Golf Pearl Peel Off Mask contains a skin loving blend of fruit extracts to heal, purify, and replenish dull skin. Niacin amide helps reduce the appearance of wrinkles and hyperpigmentation for more vibrant looking skin. So there you have it. Um, and let's see, that was the for purification, for purifying. Now for brightening, uh, one of my all time favorites for brightening. And, and this stuff is crazy um, because with this one, you can see like results almost right away and my daughter noticed the same thing um, unfortunately I don't have a full size of it um, but what I'm referring to is the glam glow um, flash mud glam glow flash mud brightening treatment this is the um, the orange one this goes the full size goes for $59 um, you apply it to clean dry face in circular motions to um, pre-exfoliate for improved ingredient absorption. Leave on for 20 minutes and then rinse with warm water. The claims on this, um, a multi-targeted, multi I don't know how to pronounce that. Multi-targeted, multi-sensorial? Anyway, correct me if you can. <laughs> multi-targeted multi-sense multi-sensory uh quick results brightening treatment for radiant youthful looking skin and like i said um this stuff really really leaves your skin looking amazing just even after the first use um the only thing with this these glam glow uh, masks is that they're they're on the pricey side but 
this one um if you can only pick one up uh, this is the one that i would that i would recommend now um now we have uh, clarifying slash clearing masks and for that one the the one that i have is the glam glow super mud clearing mask and that's the one in this this uh the white one um and this one full size costs 59 dollars this one once you apply it uh you leave it on the skin for 10 to 20 minutes and remove with warm water uh the claims are a uh, skincare mask designed to visibly and the claims are a skincare mask designed to visibly and instantly clear the complexion uh, clear the complexion. Poor matrix technology will reveal dots of vacuum extractions. Um, this one I find anything that's poor cleansing or you know dirt extracting or poor clarifying tends to be a little dry. Um, you know I've never understood why every any any product like primer or anything that targets in large pores automatically treats it um, as if you're treating oily skin and that's not the case that's not the case for me and um, I don't know maybe someday something will change but in the meantime I just have to be really careful when I'm uh, using um, you know products that are target for for pores for you know purifying or clearing the pores or minimizing the appearance of pores all those things can be um, a little bit drying um, but um, uh, this one is a the other one was a mini size this is a deluxe size I don't have the full size of this one either um, then the next area um, okay and the next uh, skin concern uh, is um, the next type of mask is charcoal masks which again is um, to unclog pores and another one that I have um, that targets that concern is this Cosmetics Detox Activated uh